Hi, Air Signs. Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of the 30th through the 5th. This is Mary. This is Leo Sun Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we're going to take a look at love, light, and advice for the week, clarified with tarot. This is a quick little reading, energy reading. So welcome in. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a nice Christmas. Happy New Year. So let's see what's going on for you guys. 30th through the 5th at this time. Keep in mind, this might uh, just be messages that need to come out at this time. May not necessarily um, take place this week if you're not resonating with the energy, but could be just messages you need to hear. If it doesn't resonate, then maybe next week will. Okay, and you can check the description box below for all the air signs playlists are below, as well as um, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, all that great stuff is down there. So please feel free to check that out. So let's see what we have. We have the um, birds, I think it is here. So we have 12, which is three. Three is a number of like working together, teamwork kind of energy, working together on something. We have the seven of pentacles. So down at the bottom, seven of diamonds is sort of like investing and waiting kind of energy. So let's see what this has to say. Number 12 here, do -do -do. birds. And it says here, a phone call, a text, or a date, that is how I communicate. I am in meetings or interviews, and I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, lover, or mate. Couples is what I indicate. Hmm, okay, some of you could be getting a message about going on a date. And, or could be getting engaged. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe for Christmas, I don't know, or the new year. Well, Christmas, this will be for next week, so maybe new year surprise here. 25, though, is 7. Uh, 7 is a divinely guided spiritual number. And then we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom. They are very fiery, passionate new beginning of some kind. And we have the ring. So let me see um, what the ring has to say. Number 25. Somebody maybe getting engaged or just leveling up a relationship. It says here, I am a, a precious item is what I am to bind in marriage and commitment. I bring harmony and unions as long as negative cards are afar, which we don't have any here. I am the contract and the promise in partnerships and ventures. I am the symbol for completion in the form of eternal devotion wow somebody may be getting an unexpected message or news here uh could be engagement for some or leveling up a commitment or going on a date hmm, okay dating exclusively or a promise ring or something like that fiery passionate new beginning Oh boy, okay, so let's see what's going on in life for the air signs, for the air signs. If you're new to my channel, uh, air signs, please feel free to check it out. You like what you see, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. I do a lot of different readings a month. So what do we have here? We have Covetinia, purification. It is time for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. So some of you need to clear some stuff out of your uh, life, it's either people, places, or things, or you just need to eat healthier or do a detox of some kind or something like that. And here we have Quan Yin, compassion, release judgments about yourself and others, focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So I think you need to uh, focus your attention more on the positive things in your life and not the negative. And, any, and it could just be negative thoughts in your mind negative energy in that sense and letting that go and just concentrating on the positive is kind of what I'm getting with that. Okay, so let's see what your <clears throat> advice is for the week, air signs, air signs. And my throat just started to get a little bit scratchy. So that could be this communication coming in over here. Something wanting, somebody wanting in love over there to solidify something whatever that means for you, for some of you. So take this, how's it, how it resonates, may not uh, resonate for everybody. All right, so what's your advice for the week? <clears throat> for the air signs. Well, that's two, I just want one, so we'll take that one. And we have green tower, supreme protection. You are protected, cords are being cut, 
move beyond limitation and trust. So, wow, that has a lot of the same energy over here as de uh, purification and detoxifying negative energies out of your life. And some may have that New Year's resolution. Whether it's changing your eating habits, your drinking habits, exercise, or cutting people, places, and things that are no longer serving you out of your life. Wow. And you are protected here. Spirit wants you to know you are protected through this process. Just trust. And then on the bottom here, we have El Moria. Awakening presence. The universe is with you. We are a cloak of protection and love. So, and I had just said that, <laughs> that the universe is protecting you here. And uh, they are with you. We are a cloak of protection and love. Hmm. I don't know if you have something you wear you feel like uh, you feel secure in or you feel it protects you. I don't know. I'd say wear it during this time. Maybe a message for some. Could be like, I don't know, getting like an article of clothing that maybe a pa pastor or a loved one had worn and you feel very protected when you wear it. It could be like, it could be a cloak or a scarf or a shawl or something like that. Like a, or like a sweater or something. And now with the cold season here, uh, and maybe with these changes, maybe when you wear it, you know, you feel the presence of your passed over loved one, like they're around you protecting you. And that could be that energy here. It sounds like a strange message, but that was the first message that came into my mind. So, all right. So let's see what this is over here for some of you. Maybe have news coming in, message coming in. Could be a proposal of some sort. What is this about? So we have the Hermit and the Queen of Wands. So somebody thought about this long and hard and finally knows what they want. Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy, fire energy here. Someone is all fired up. <laughs> They've. Uh... So we have two queens here. Now we got the Queen of Swords. Somebody, somebody is like standing in their truth. They're very passionate now. They thought about it long and hard. So it can be male, female, doesn't really matter. Um, though that Queen of Swords looks a little bit harsh, so I don't know. Maybe the you know this person's been a little defensive towards you in the past about level, leveling up the um, relationship of some kind, but I feel like now they've thought about it and now they're more in a positive, like fiery, sunny energy. Eight of Pentacles, wanting to work on it, putting in the dedicated effort. Nine of Cups, wish and dreams coming true, wish fulfillment in every single way, feeling fulfilled and happy in every single way. <clears throat> this person's like, oh my God, and then the Ten of Cups. I can't make this up. Happy home and family. Some of you literally could be getting engaged on New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, or next week, or it could be later in the year or something like this, maybe during the summertime. Somebody, I think, with the Queen of, Queen of Swords, she looks a little harsh there. So maybe, you know, somebody, you know, maybe uh, was kind of cold towards the idea. But I think they finally did some soul searching, found the light. And now they're, because look at this face compared to that face. <laughs> now they're like, yeah, I'm happy and sunny and fiery now. And I know what I want. I want to work on it. I want wish fulfillment. And I want the whole Ten of Cups, whole, whole happy home and family, pets, children. But this person, wow. Okay. So I hope that resonates for some. So let's see what life is about over here with compassion and purification for the air signs. Let's see what we have here. We have the Three of Cups. Oh, it's celebrating, you know, having a good time. Two of Swords, though, being kind of indecisive about something. Two of Cups now. So... Peaceful resolutions, people seeing eye to eye, forgiveness, peace, and happiness, joy. So let's see. But right in the middle there, though, was indecisiveness. So what do we have here? So we have the three of wands. So that's about waiting, waiting on the right time for something. Okay. Four of swords, resting, healing kind of energy about some resting and healing and waiting being indecisive about something so kind of waiting to make that decision and you know while you're waiting you know really thinking about it but now manifesting something forward here new new beginning 
and like I said, um, you know, the magician here can manifest a new beginning, but also can use all the tools necessary to do what they need to do moving forward. If you need to use that sword to cut away things no longer serving you, truth, clarity, uh, that kind of energy, or whatever here, manifesting forward. I think going forward, you thought about it long and hard, waiting for the right time, being indecisive, but now knowing when the right time is right. You only want to be aligned with the people with the Two of Cups here, energy, that are totally aligned with you um, and people that you, you know, go out and have a good time with, you know, you get along with. And, uh, you know, like I said, cutting away those people, because you see like these two people like are going to fight here. So I feel like those people that don't match your energy, you're finally going to make that decision after thinking about it long and hard and waiting for the right time to cut those people away and only surround yourself with the people that are in a more loving, compassionate, peaceful energy moving forward with the uh, magician energy. So that's the energy I have for that. Ooh, okay. So let's see what your advice is here. Strong support from the universe and protection. Just trust in the processes here moving forward. Yeah, the wheel, divinely guided energy here. Divinely guided energy moving you forward. That, all that protective energy, yeah, as you work things out in your life, whatever they may be, you know, uh, cutting away toxic things, whatever you're working on here, uh, you're going in the right direction with the Wheel of Fortune, being uh, protected in, uh, yeah, fool jumping right in, taking a new leap of faith, a new start, resetting back to zero. What else here? Seven of Wands. So being a little defensive and on guard, maybe, or just defending yourself against people you finally feel, you know what, I'm not aligned with you anymore. You're not, you know, serving my highest good. All we do is argue and bicker. So you know what, I'm tired of being defensive around you. So Four of Wands, I just want stability in my life. I just want the good things in my life that keep me stable and grounded in my work, my home, my family, you know, all that kind of energy. The hangman. So yeah, gaining new perspective on things and realizing only wanting what is stable in your life. Moving forward, again, with the wheel and the fool. Only putting effort in with the three pentacles, with the things that, how, that serve you. And not the things you constantly have to defend yourself against. Uh, that kind of energy. And know that, that divine energy has your back. They're protecting you. Just trust in this whole process. So... Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Abandoned Lap, Being Left Out in the Cold, Prince of Cups. So this could be apologies to people. You know, I'm sorry, but I have to leave you out in the cold. You're no longer serving me. And now you have a fiery, passionate new beginning here, uh, like a new lease on life, feeling good and free and able to do what you want. Moving forward in the Knight of Cups energy, just peace, harmony, balance, uh, loving, compassionate energy. It's sailing to a better place with the Six of Swords. Balanced energy with temperance. I could keep going here, but you get the idea. Yep. Saying, I'm sorry, but um, I have to put you onto this mushroom. Bye-bye. <laughs> kind of energy. Wow. Okay, air signs. <laughs> well, best of luck to you, air signs. And I'm sending you many light, loving blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.